It's good to see you ready to travel the universe. All of these Okay worlds, guys, so we are live. Like I just muted my television because it's just so loud if I try to speak. But anyways, hello so guys, I am back playing another session of Project Spark. The I really enjoyed playing it yesterday. It was a little confusing at first, but I thought it was really neat. Um so let's just on. The stories yet to be told, the games to be made, civilizations, and... Okay, that's enough. Okay, come on. Why does it have to... I don't know why it always has to do this every single time I play. I don't know if you guys can see, but in the lower right-hand corner, see that... A little save going on. Well now, now why? Did you know you can make your own games like Champions Quest and Crossroads? Next, I'm going to show you how. Okay, so I guess I'm still on the tour. Or a part of the game. I... Click the learn to create button to begin making a game. Achieved a spark level of six. Okay. No? Well, time to change that. Get press the A button to switch tools, then use the left stick to navigate to the prop tool and press A again <coughs> to select it. Okay, I just feel really stupid. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know why it has to show me this, because I really don't want, want to create a world, I just want to play the game. You want to switch tools and use the left stick. I'm still new to this freaking controller, this is just sad. Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is just stupid. Huh? Yes, nature. What am I doing? Okay, don't I feel stupid? like Gigantor. Okay. What? Okay. And? Uh-huh. Uh -oh. So freaking weird. What am I supposed to be doing? Can I do anything else besides this? I mean, really. Okay. Sculpt. Whatever. Can I just get the hell out of here? Oh, it lets me do this. Sorry. 
Press up on the D-pad to open the prop gallery. Okay. Use the left stick to select the characters tab, then press A to filter your view. This is the prop gallery. There are thousands of props available to create with. All of these characters are locked, but go ahead and select one anyways. Before we can use one, we're going to have to unlock our first pack. Okay. So what if I do a fighter? Spark Premium grants you access to special offers, discounts, and bonuses to credit and XP rewards. Crit. It's like a rocket boost on okay. the jetpack. Okay, go in now. Here, I'll give you three days for free to try it out. Oh, shit. Now that you have Spark Premium, you can unlock this pack with your special disc. Okay, just stop talking. You talk way too much. Press the left trigger to snap the prop to the ground. Press the right trigger to place the prop in your world. Oh, uh, LT. Move the cursor over your hero and hold LB. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open its brain. Why am I doing brain surgery? Welcome to the brain editor, where the magic really happens. Brains are a collection of code statements that tell the object how to behave. All code statements are divided into a when side and a do side. When the left side is true, do the actions on the right. Let's start with a blank brain and build your hero from scratch. First, let's give them a way to move. Select the plus and press A to add a tile to the when side. Press the plus and press A to add a little tile to the... Tilt the left stick toward the controls folder and press A to select it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, your little... Select the controller folder. Select the left stick tile. Hey, am I doing this? This is so boring, guys. I'm really sorry. Now this line of code will run when the left stick is used. But select the plus and press A to add it. Select the movement folder. Hey, let's move. Why can't I select it? Come on. Hi. Oh, select there we go. The move tile. You've written your first line of code. It says that when press B to exit the brain editor. Good. Press menu I don't want to play this. I mean, I don't want to create. I just want to play. Press menu to... Press menu to pause the menu. What? Move the left. When you're done testing, press menu. Okay. Uh, he's running off of stupid little dang la di da. Uh huh. To return, move the cursor over your hero and hold LB. This While is boring. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open its brain. I yeah, no shit. Let's give your hero the ab select the plus and pr this is the tile picker. Select the controls folder. Select the controller folder. Select the A tile. Select the plus and press A. Select the movement folder. Select the jump tile. The line you just wrote says, whenever this button is held, jump. However, your hero will jump constantly if that button is held. This will be select the plus and select the modifiers folder. Select the pressed tile. 
This means your hero will only jump when the button is first pressed. Your hero's brain hey. is missing one more key thing. Select the plus and press the right bumper to view the next page of select the camera folder. This is a select boring part of the game. I don't know why. Because the when side of let's try out your press B to exit the brain editor. Press menu to open the pause menu. Okay, what to do? Okay, I move it around. When you're done testing, press menu. Hey, whoop -de -doo, wee! Okay. Okay. Select edit. Ridiculous. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open its brain. Let's I still think it's right. Select the plus and press select the controls. Select the control. Select the X tile. Select the plus and press select the combat. Select the yeah. attack time. Now your hero. Uh. Let's make your hero. Select the plus and press A. Select the controls folder. Select the controller for Select the. I talks way too much. It's really annoying. Select the plus. Select the combat fold. Select the shoot tile. Now your hero. Time to test out your code again. All right. Press B to exit the press menu to open the pause menu. Select when you're done testing, press menu. I don't see what happens. Hey, he threw a fucking fireball. That's okay. Okay, that's cool. Okay, that was Select edit to return. From the prop mode is how you add interesting objects and life to your world. It's also where you go to edit the prop palette. Use the D-pad to select the goblin from the prop palette. Uh-huh. Okay, that's cool. Press the left trigger to snap the prop to the ground. Press the right trigger to place the prop in your world. Okay. Instead of coding a brain, move the cursor over the goblin and hold the hold left LB. bumper. While holding the left bumper, press Y to open. Normally, this goblin would come with a default brain. Press the menu button to open the brain. The brain options menu. Select the brain gap. Welcome to the brain. Now let's find and drop enemy brain on. Use the left stick to select the search box in the upper right. Then press A and type enemy. Okay, well, let it and... and... Done. Select enemy brain to automatically fill in all of the... Press B to exit the brain. Press B to exit the brain editor. Brains! Oh, what is the other one? Press menu to open the pause menu. Select. <laughs> Press menu when you're done testing. Okay, so if you've played the Raving Rabbits game, it's kind of got. Whoa! Where did he go? Did I kill him? I must have killed him. Okay, well, that was easy. Mountain is your next challenge to come. Press the A button to switch tools, then oh, use the left stick to navigate to the sculpt tool, and press A again to select it. I will switch tools, then use left stick to navigate and press A again. The first step to sculpting an incredible landscape. Use, use the Y and X buttons to move your cursor. Use the right stick to orbit the camera around the cursor's current position. Okay, cool. All right. Click in the right stick to change the camera's zoom level. Now that you've got the hang of the camera, Go start creating.
Mold your world in sculpt. To sculpt, hold the right trigger and this is the expand. This tool expands the terrain it touches. Okay. Hold the right trigger and move the brush to raise a mountain ridge in its path. Um. 